What's going on, Lead Gen Beast and my fellow Go High Level Entrepreneurs? In this video, I'm going to walk you through step by step how to create a birthday campaign uh, because this is a great way to generate sales, appointments, etc. And I know this because way back in the day, I used to be a barber and hairdresser, and we would do this exact type of setup where a couple of weeks before their birthday, actually, I think it was a month before their birthday, we would start sending out emails and postcards and all that stuff offering, I think it was like 15% off of their next visit. And people would bring those things in all the time. It was awesome. It worked really, really well. So I want to show you how to set this up inside of Go High Level. I'm going to use a hair salon as a uh, as the primary example, but you can really set this up with any type of business. And I'll probably do a separate video on how to set this up for like uh, digital products or courses. So if you have an online business and you want to do something like this, I'm going to do a separate video on that because it's a, a different uh, there's different elements and, and features that you have to use inside of Go High Level for that. So this is going to be specifically for like your your typical type of local business, like a hair salon, restaurants, uh, chiropractors, things like that. All right. So make sure you stick to the end. My only ask, as usual, if you find the video helpful, just hit that like button for me. And I'm going to have some additional Go High Level training uh, in the description that will be relevant to what we're going to do today, like using custom values and things like that. Uh, I don't want to dive into all of that in this video. This is specifically about how to set up the birthday campaign. So if you want to learn more about those uh, features, then uh, check those out. All right, let's rock and roll. So the, the first thing that you're going to need to need to have, obviously, is a way of collecting contact information. So if you don't have a funnel or a website up and running with a form on it, obviously, you need to add that. The good thing is, uh, if you don't have that right now, Go High Level provides some really good templates to help you get started. So if you go to sites and then click on new funnel, start from templates here, you can select the industry that you're in. So uh, if we're doing this for a hair salon, beauty and fashion, you know, 30% off salon services, barber tools and equipment, all that stuff. So it's got, they, they have plenty of uh, funnels that, uh, that you can start with. Uh, the next thing that you're going to need is a form with the date of birth element on it. Obviously we need to collect their date of birth. So if we go to forms and then builder, I already have some forms in here. All right, so this 30% hair color or salon service, that's what we use as like our lead magnet or whatever for now. All right, so whatever your lead magnet is, it doesn't matter. Maybe it's a free consultation, uh, free uh, haircut with color service, whatever. Uh, whatever you are using to entice people to give you their contact information. So when we open up the form, obviously we're gonna want name, email, and phone number, but uh, if you click right here, add form element, you drag the data. I'll just, uh, I'll just start over here. Get rid of this just so you guys can see exactly how this works. All right, add form element. We're going to drag the date of birth element onto the form, click it, and we're going to be able to customize this. Now, I would, I would not make this required because not everybody's going to want to provide their date of birth, but that doesn't mean we don't want to generate them as a lead and get them into our pipeline. So I would just leave it not required, but we can edit the text here, uh, the label and say, enter your date of birth to receive awesome birthday discounts, offers, promotions, off discounts and promotions. Something like that. Because who doesn't like uh, a good discount on their birthday, right? Uh, so we'll click save. And that's it. That's all we have to do for the form. You can edit the form however else you want. But that's we need to have the date of birth element on there. That's the most important thing. And when they go to, like, like they don't actually have to type out their date of birth. Uh, a calendar pops up and they can select their their the, the month, day, and year. So it makes it pretty easy for them. All right, so we have that in place. Once you have that, we can now start to set up the automation. All right, so we'll go to automation here. And I already have this set up, but I'll just I'll break down each part of it. Uh, really what you would do is create workflow, start from scratch. It's gonna open that up. Uh, they actually might have birthday campaigns as a, yeah, a birthday template here. Uh, it's pretty cool. So if you wanted to save time and just customize what they already have, you could use this birthday recipe um, so I, I'm not, I'm not going to break this down. Cause I, again, I just, I want to show you guys how to set up a, a very simple, uh, birthday campaign here. Just know that they do have this birthday template in here. All right. But let's, uh, let's go ahead and build this from scratch. So I'm going to pull up the one that I already had here. So you'll create a new workflow, start from scratch. The first thing that you want to do 
is click on settings and allow re-entry because we don't want to just send one uh, birthday promotion to them. Uh, we want to do it over and over and over again, right? Well, you know, in this case, uh, with the hair salon, we want to, we're building a clientele, so we want them to keep coming back. So what this does is allow people to uh, basically re-enter the, the workflow multiple times instead of just once. All right, uh, I would turn on specific time too, because you don't, because this will include text messages and there's other ways that um, we can set this up, I'll show you, but uh, you just want to make sure that you're not accidentally sending text messages at like two, three o'clock in the morning. So you can set the time window here to send the everything in this workflow within a certain time frame and on certain days. So I would do like every day, but maybe it's like 11 or 10, 8, 10 a.m., 11 a.m. to 5 or 6 p.m., something like that. All right. So do that. And then your workflow trigger here is going to be birthday reminder. So if you click on workflow trigger and we type in birthday, you're going to select birthday reminder. That's what this is. And the filter is going to be before number of days. And this is up to you. You could do it a month before. You could do a week before. It's really up to you. But I just chose seven days here for now. All right. So that'll be our workflow trigger. Uh, so basically, Goal High Level is going to, once they provide their date of birth, that information is now in the Goal High Level system. And uh, seven days before their birthday, it's going to trigger this workflow. And maybe the first thing we do is send a text message just saying, hey, first name. Uh, and this this is a custom value right here. It's just a contact field. So if we if I were to delete that and I want to automatically insert their first name, that's what I would do right there. And uh, don't overcomplicate this, guys. Just keep it pretty simple. Uh, I wanted to wish you an early birthday, offer you 15% off your next visit. I just sent you an email with instructions. Make sure you check that out. And uh, we'll see you soon. Something like that. And then you sign it with your name and, and business name. And that's it for the text. All right. And then for the email, there's actually two ways you can do the email. I'm going to show you like the really basic way to do it really quick. But then I'm going to show you my preferred way of sending emails and go high level. It's to actually use a template. You're just able to do a lot more with it. But I'll show you here uh, just the sim like the simplest way. You click the plus sign. We're going to send email. Let me move over here. All right. And uh, the from name, I usually do like my first name and company name. So we'll just do hair salon as an example. All right, the from email address, that needs to be the email address you have connected to your Go High Level account. Otherwise, it's always, it's nine times out of 10 going to go to spam. So whatever, uh, like if you used a dedicated domain with LC email, if you have no idea what I'm talking about, I will have a link down in the description on how to properly set that up. But just make sure you're using the correct email address here. Otherwise, it will always go to spam. Sometimes it might not even go through and actually send. The subject line can be something very simple. Happy, I uh, already have it here. Happy early birthday. Here's 15% off your next visit or whatever your offer is. And then you just type out your email. So, hey, first name. Looks like you have a birthday coming up. Happy early birthday. All right, I'm not going to type it, type it all out, but... Uh, again, don't overcomplicate it. Happy early birthday. I wanted to, as a early birthday gift, I wanted to, uh, we wanted to send you a 15% off coupon for your next visit. No matter what services that you're getting, you can get, uh, you know, if you need color done, uh, haircuts, if you just want to come in for, uh, you know, get your nails done, blow dry, all that good stuff, shampoo and blow dry, whatever. All right. And you'll just provide instructions, like um, just make sure you bring your ID. We'll verify your birthday and apply your 15% discount. Uh, click the button down below to open the, the calendar or click the link here. So uh, to add a link in this email. So you would just do click here to open our calendar to book your appointment. So if you're using uh, Go High Level calendars for your business, then you would just select this. Click the URL. You would put the link to your calendar. Uh, I usually like to open this in a new window. Click save. And then that's it. That's uh, that, that's how you would send the email. All right, click save. Make sure you uh, publish it. And that's your birthday reminder uh, or your birthday campaign. Now, let me show you how I pre uh, my preferred way of sending emails. Uh, just It just works better, in my opinion. So uh, let's go back to our dashboard here. We're going to go to marketing. All right, hover over emails. We'll go to templates. And 
I use, I use the same template over and over again, just because I, I think it's, it just works really well. It allows you to put your logo on uh, a clickable image or like a happy birthday image in this case, your text, and then a button at the bottom where you can link out to a calendar link, a uh, calendar page or your website, whatever. All right. So uh, we'll click new here, go to email marketing templates. They have tons and tons of templates here in go high level. Uh, the one I like to use, uh, just scroll down a little bit, I like the one where it has the logo at the top, the image, and then uh, the text below it. So I'm just going to select one of these. Um, you can do a search for your industry if there's uh, something specific you're looking for, but I'm going to show you how to customize this anyways. All right, so we're going to add that template to our library here, and then I will show you how to customize it. All right, cool. So first things first, let's go ahead and uh, give it a name. So you can just do 15% uh, off birthday email. Keep it simple. Click the three little dots, click on settings. And here's where you will put the from name, the from email and the email subject line. So same exact thing as last time uh, I put my first name dash my company name, put the email address that you use or connected to your goal high level account. I actually prefer to use custom values here. I'm not gonna get into those right, right now though. I'll have a link down below if you wanna learn more about them. They save you a lot of time in the future. It's an awesome feature. All right, uh, the, the, the subject line I think was happy early birthday. Here is 15% off your next visit. Again, don't complicate it. It's not, uh, we don't have to go crazy with it. All right, so you'll click save. And actually uh, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and put some stuff in here so you can see what it looks like when we add this to the workflow. All right, save. All right, now we're able to, you know, you're able to put your logo in here. So if you click on the logo here element right there, uh, we click on the edit button. And this is where, uh, I mean, you probably already have your logo uploaded, but you can upload your logo here. Re obviously really good for branding. So you just double click your logo once you have it uh, in the media library here, and it would insert your logo Oops. at the top. All right, good for branding. Now, right here, this image, you can create a cool image, a uh, cool happy birthday image inside of Canva if you want. They have tons of birthday uh, images in there that you can use, or you might actually be able to just get something from Unsplash here. So again, if we edit this uh, this image and we change this from My Media to Unsplash or Pixabay, and we do birthday, we can see what comes up. I mean, you know, nothing nothing special, but you know, like. Uh, here we will switch it to unsplash see what we can find yeah something like this whatever you double click it uh, or you can upload your own if you have a custom happy birthday image you want to you want to use all right but now we have a cool happy birthday image and then right here you're just going to click inside the text you're going to type out your email just like we we did uh, in the previous example in the workflow builder just saying hey it looks like you've got a birthday coming up that's awesome happy early birthday here is 15 uh, percent off your next visit Bring your ID, click here, uh, click the button down below because there's a there's a button on the on this email here, and you can link this out to your calendar page, or you can just delete it if you want and just say, hey, call this number to book your appointment. Whatever you want to do with that, it's totally up to you. All right, so we'll save the template. We're gonna go back and we're just gonna add this to the workflow. That's it. So two different ways to send emails using the template is my preferred way. It just tends to do better. You just have more functionalities, more things you can do with it. All right, so we'll click on the email. I know I keep moving back and forth here. We'll click on the email element and where it says templates. Go ahead and select the template that you just made. See how it auto populates everything. And it's going to send like all the text and image, like it's going to send that email template that we just created. Click save, make sure this is published and then save at the top right. And you're good to go. That's how you set up a birthday campaign, guys. And again, and I'll probably do a separate video on selling online, like digital products, uh, how you can set up a birthday campaign for that, because it is a little bit different. And this one, we're really just, we're, we're setting up the workflow trigger. We send an email and a text, and you can get more creative with this as well. Like you can send reminders as well. So if we, if we click the plus sign and we click on wait, uh, maybe we wait 
uh, I don't know, a day, two days, three days. Maybe you send a series of emails and text messages. And uh, at this point, you would just say, so we, we wait one day. Uh, maybe you send another text. Hey, first name, just wanted to make sure that you received uh, the email that we sent with your early birthday gift for 15% off your next visit. Uh, make sure you check that out. Call us at this number to set the appointment, whatever. Uh, just something basic like that. So you could do a couple of reminders as well if you want. But yeah, at the very least, you know, the, the just, just sending out the initial birthday gift, really cool, uh, pretty easy to set up. So if you guys have any questions, drop some comments down below. We'd love to hear your feedback. And I hope you are crushing it. I will talk to you in the next one. Matty Ice is out. To your success.